There's been so much over the last few years about polling. It's become one of the dominant obsessions of people on the left and the right. Most people in politics will focus on polls where the methodology is very strong. There's a lot of crap polls out there. The president doesn't care about methodology. He likes a poll if he likes the numbers. Quality polling now needs to be done. And so we've headed about 80 miles north of New York City to the Marist Institute for Public Opinion to see how a good poll is done. They're distinctive. They use students to do a lot of their calls. I'm a student calling from Marist College. We're talking to people in our community and collecting data. If the 2018 election for In 2016, I think polls had more of a communication problem than they did a measurement problem. The polls were not the problem this time. The problem was really this whole forecaster world who were coming out with, you know, Hillary's gonna win by 98.2% or something, and it all just fed on itself. Our final poll had Clinton up nationally by one point. What are the traits of a good caller? A good caller is gonna be serious, sound enthusiastic, they're not going to have an opinion about the question. And read it as it's written, verbatim. What if they have a thick Maryland accent? Is that a plus? Would you like to give it a try? Hi, I'm calling from Time Life. Would you like to subscribe? How quick of a learner are you? Depends on the topic. This is like a serious <laughs> crash course. OK. Hello, my name is 0505. Yeah. You can put your name my in name there. My name is Mark. We don't have to ask them if they're interested in talking to me? No, 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 no. That opens don't, the door to them not want... wanting to. Exactly. exactly. Let's pretend the person on the other line has heard your lovely voice. In general, thinking about the way things are going in the country, do you feel things are going in the right direction or that things are going in the wrong direction under horrible President Donald Trump? Yeah, absolutely not. Oh, no. that, that defeats okay. all the rules all right. of standardized interviews. All right, I'm ready. Let's get moving. Okay. All right, not in service. Houston, we have no answer. Oh my God. I'll be happy now if I get a single phone that works. Busy, there's a busy signal. This is the most frustrating thing I've ever done. I've only done three. Three, three, oh, six. If someone answers, I'm going to faint and therefore not be able to complete the call. Hello, my name's Mark. I'm calling from Marist College. We're talking to people in your community and collecting opinions about issues facing residents. Are you 18 years or older? Uh, yeah. Uh, Hello? I would love to hear your it's a brief survey. I'd love, I'd love to get your answer to hear a brief survey. What? Regarding issues facing residents across the country. I have a live one. Say, um, no, it's too late. She's already gone. Sweet. Where's the thing that said call her? Can, where's that? You can call her back. I'm not calling her back. Do you think the United States' role on the world stage has been strengthened or weakened? I would say it is not my calling. The options are military action or diplomacy. I think most people look at polling as this baseless, bloodless exercise in data. And for these students, it's really more like an exciting part of being part of American democracy. Should the United States take an active role in removing Syrian President Assad? The students will make calls to people all over the country. And then Friday, they'll release the poll. Thank you very much for your information.